Caroline. Caroline. Very lucky man. Concussion and a compound fracture. They reckoned you were doing 60 when you were hit. Car. I was in that crash. Yes. Car crash. How's Caroline? What happened to her? Now you have to rest. Where is she? Now, no excitement. How are you feeling, Mr. Rule? Never mind about me. What about Caroline? Caroline. Caroline, the Contessa Di Contini. My passenger, the girl who was in the car with me. Sedative. What are you doing? Well, you're concussed, Mr. Rule. You're very confused. Your mind is playing tricks. Tricks? What do you mean, tricks? There was no passenger in that car with you. You were quite alone when they picked you up. Alone? No, there was a girl with me. I may be confused, but there was a girl there with me. She must be there now, lying next to the road, unconscious. Not for two whole days, Mr. Rule. This is Monday the 4th. You were brought in here on Saturday the 2nd. You were unconscious for two days, two nights. Two days. Two days. Call the police. Get the police here. Understand, Inspector. He's not to be tired. Mr. Rule, Inspector Wilson, Sergeant Peters, CID. Can you prove that? I want to report a missing person. Contessa Di Contini. She seems to have vanished. All right. Suppose I buy the fact that uh, the Contessa was in the car with you. What do you think happened? I don't know. Maybe the crash wasn't an accident. Maybe it was planned. Planned? Maybe somebody wanted to grab the Contessa. A bit drastic, isn't it? She was there in the car with me. Where were you heading when it happened? I don't know. It's a blank. The whole thing's a blank. I don't even recall getting in the car. I remember coming back to my apartment with the Contessa, offering her a drink. Next thing I know, I'm driving. I'm very tired, like I've been driving a long time. She was beside me. And then, uh, crash. Returning from where? You said you remember returning to your apartment. Where from? A case I was working on. A case? Oh, now, look, I know you. Private people protect your client's interests to the last ditch, but this case or whatever it is may have some direct bearing on the crash or whatever's happened to the Contessa. It's possible. Mr. Rule, I can't help you if I'm only holding half the cards. Okay. Frank Dilling. He's in America. No, he's not. He flew in England two days ago. We put him in our protective custody. Your custody? A private company? Why didn't he... Put himself in official hands? Yeah. Because he's a frightened man, Inspector. Frightened or not, I don't see why. Frank Dilling is due to testify before an international committee at the end of this week. He's going to present evidence that there's a network of official corruption that spreads halfway and back across the Western Hemisphere. Official corruption. He doesn't trust anyone. Not the government, not the police, not anyone. He came to us because we're private, because we're outside that world. And you put him undercover? 
That's right. Look, if I've got any chance of finding the contessa, I've got to go back to square one. I've got to find out where Frank Dilling is hiding. I hope you're not pushing him too hard. No. No, we'll, we'll be leaving shortly. <laughs> Well, where is he? I don't know. We decided to limit the information to one person. The Contessa and I flipped a coin, and she won. She's the only one who knows where Frank Dilling is. Well, we'll just have to do the best we can with what we've got to go on. I'll be in touch, Mr. Room, as soon as I find anything out. Okay. We've got to move her. Right away. He's got what? Got to. Well, Mario might turn something up. Hmm? Well, he's out turning rules plates over, isn't he? Hmm. I might find something. You're just confused. Your mind is playing tricks. I assure you, you were alone in that car when they picked you up. Alone behind the wheel. But that can't be. Harry. What happened to Harry? Said it to you. Please, look, I, I, I know I'm not making any sense, but Harry was there. Harry Rule. Look, you must tell someone. Please. Very well. 
Better call the police. Meanwhile. Ginta! Ginta! Whatever happens, he mustn't get upstairs. He must not reach that girl. He won't. Hello. Hello? I'm Inspector Wilson. This is Sergeant Peters, CID. What seems to be the trouble? Well, I, I, I was in this accident. Now, they say that I was alone, but I wasn't. There was this man with me, and his name's Harry Rule. Uh, uh, hold on. I think we'd better start from the beginning. Got to know what happened. Suki, where's Harry? Suki. Look, you're asking me to do the impossible, Contessa. I can't help you if I'm only holding half the cards. You must see that my only hope is to go back to square one, to where all this started. In to, to wherever you're hiding Frank Dilling. I can understand you want to protect him, but we, we've got Mr. Rule to consider, too. I mean, his life might be quite literally in your hands. All right. I'll trust you. I'll tell you where Dilling is. You will let me know, won't you? Uh, as soon as you hear anything. Or oh, the minute we find Dilling, Contessa. 
You're on that. Nobody goes in, nobody comes out, right? Right. You must be sweet on her. Me? I'd have been out across the ground straight away. Couldn't go without you, eh? Thanks. For telling me where she is. It's not going to do you any good. A hero. I specialize in heroes. Dead heroes. Yeah. You're tough. You're really tough. What's that supposed to mean? I'm tired of you half-baked amateurs. Amateur. That's right. You said amateur. That's right. A pro, a real pro, would have dropped me when he saw me. But not you. You ramble on, you shoot off, you big... <laughs> Harry. <laughs> he came from up there. Inside. Get back in the bed. What's happening? We were conned. Why? They want to know where we put Dylan. Oh, Harry. Shh. I told them where we put Frank Dilling. All right, come on. My clothes. What just that? That's all the leopard wears. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got to get to Dilling before they do. So that's the place you'd expect. It's closed down. Perfect place for a man to lose himself in. Come on. You mean we haven't lost two days? That's right. Today is today. If you know what I mean, I mean today yeah, is yeah. today. Is yeah, I think so. Today. I mean, today we met Dilling, we put him away safely under wraps, and then we went back to your place afterwards for a drink. Mm, that's when it started. The drink must have been spiked. And we've been in a drugged haze ever since. Uh oh. something so elaborate. Why not just force the information out of us? And that would have taken time. They wanted to play it cool. Drug-induced crash and subtle interrogation.
Can you hear me? Wherever you are, stay put. We'll find you. Picture studios. Good girl. You missed the main feature. It's okay, Dilling. You're back in our protective custody. Mm -hmm. 